Hey, what's up? I'm Unknown Shadow, that's Albert. This is my garage. And so what are we doing today? So with all the changes that I've made to the bike, including the, the upgraded cam, the upgraded ECU, it'd be nice to know kind of a little bit more of what the bike is doing. I and mean, one of the big pieces that's missing is a tachometer. So being able to know what the rev speed of the actual engine, the spinning parts of the engine is, would be nice to know. So what I did was I went out, got some parts. Gonna tie in a new tack. Got this little guy from Takigawa. Some wiring harnesses. Then we have the actual, like, specific to the monkey part. Uh, gonna get him installed, prop him up here, run some wires, and then hopefully we'll know what the actual RPM of the engine is. I don't know how hard this will be. There's a lot of pieces, in, and all the instructions are in Japanese. So, I guess I'll have to figure it out. All right, let's get to the install. All right, so what we have here, we took the, the wire harness that came with the monkey kit, spliced that end here. Connect, made the main connection. Green wires over here are to the left uh, turn signal. So spliced in a little bit of power there. Ran from the back, up through the back. Uh, one connection that goes over to the ignition, and then this connection is actually gonna go down underneath and it's going to be a temperature sensor that connects into uh, the drain plug. So this wire just came off the tack. I just ran that through the center. And then that connects into the actual harness, the temperature sensor, and the ignition coil. And the other one down. Down. First thing we gotta do is actually get this configured. So it says to hold the left button for three seconds. And we want to get this to set to RPIG. The way to do that is there's a right button on the back. Um, just hit that once and it'll switch. And then hit the left button for three more seconds and that'll set it. So the next step is to set the number of crankshaft rotations, I guess, which for the monkey is 0.5. So what we do is again, hold this, hold the left button for three seconds, um, hit it once to go to RP1, and we want this to set to 0 0.5. So hit the right button, cycle through, oh, missed it. 0.5, hold the left button for three seconds. Next step is to set the RPM signal to high, holding the left button again. Three seconds, get into that mode. Keep switching, so there's the crankshaft rotation, and then high. So what we want is set to high, so it's already set to high. We would just hit the right button if we needed to change that. 
three seconds on the left button, and that's set. To set the clock, hit the left button once to switch to the clock, then hold it for three seconds. And now it's like setting any of your clocks, which I don't know what time it is. Now that we have all of that set, let's just see if it works. install wasn't too bad. I mean the biggest problem was trying to actually fit everything in this small headlight bucket. Not a lot of space in there. I mean it is a small bike so who can complain. But not a lot of space in there trying to get all those wires in. The only other real issue was the instructions and the fact that I don't read Japanese. That's I can't really blame anybody but myself on that. Using Google Translate, I was able to look at the manual, figure out what settings I needed to make for the tack, uh, make those changes so that the tack actually behaved. It's nice actually having that tack there. Like I said earlier, with the cam ACU on the bike, it's helpful to get as much information as possible out of the bike while you're riding. And so now being able to actually see the RPMs, and not just hear them, but also see them, uh, is is quite beneficial so the ecu flash will have raised the rev limit up to about 10,000, which which i've seen the bike get up to 10,000. good to have a visual representation of that being done <laughs> horses for now i'm just going to ride around a little bit see how everything's working make sure the bike's still behaving with everything plugged in and to actually just enjoy this really nice day weird that it's February and oh mamas <laughs> we'll call that a video I'm gonna ride around and enjoy the this nice weather see how the bike handles enjoyed this video if so you know like subscribe comment do those things if you like to do those things um but otherwise hopefully you're having a good day thanks for watching bye